there's definitely a lot I still want to do to this truck, but it's probably not going to be this truck. So throughout building it and throughout driving it, I mean, we went to so many shows this year, basically all across the country going north, south in our section of the country. Um, I put about eight to 10,000 miles on this thing. Starting to see some body sag, unfortunately. This thing's starting to rot out. So future plans, I'm kind of looking to find another uh, chassis, a rolling chassis, getting everything swapped over and So we're finally in LA, gonna get checked into our hotel and get ready for tomorrow. I'm excited to see this thing uh, and drive it back. Not excited to drive it back, but excited to see it. So, peace. All right guys, so just finished the test drive. Uh, just bought the vehicle. And now, like, let's just take a second to check out and see the vehicle. 1993 Ford Bronco. But yeah, there it is. So gonna drive this thing back home now. It's like 32 hours. There's Elvis Presley's house. There's Michael Jackson's house. And I'm heading back to Wisconsin. Peace. So for those of you that didn't hear or couldn't because it was like insanely windy in the middle of the desert where we decided to break down, um, one of their like their signs, it was like probably four feet tall of like a can of Rockstar Energy as we're driving, decided to like fly up in front of us. And like, I just kind of thought or assumed or hoped that it just kind of like flew past and that was it. Well, what ended up happening was it literally is like four feet like tall it came in and it literally went over the whole entire grill so it covered the grill and about mm, i don't know 10 15 miles later uh the bronco didn't like that and it got super hot um oil pressure dropped coolant started like bubbling out and smoking all over so we stopped at a gas station that was like we waited a little bit let it cool off started it got to the gas station um, i'm gonna put some more oil in it add some coolant to it let it sit for like an hour or two and then we will get back on the road. All right guys, so we made it back to Appleton. Um, Really, the whole last part of the drive, the biggest issue was as I'd get lower into the RPMs or like as I was like stopping to like get off an exit or something like that, um, the truck would die. So I had to kind of keep it in higher RPMs or like at stoplights, I had to kind of like rev on it a little bit so it wouldn't die. We'll be back with more. As you guys know, that's kind of what we do. We'll get everything swapped over from the old one to the new one. We will get this one like updated and back to running 100%, kind of get the engine um, tuned up, fixed up, whatever needs to happen, I'm not really sure. Um, and then we'll kind of go a little bit further with the build too. So obviously last time it was like a bumper, lift kit, wheels, tires. Well, got a little bit more for this time as well. Um, got headlights to put in, I'm gonna customize those. I'm already looking at four linking the rear end and uh, we'll go from there. But that's what we got for you guys. Thank you for tuning in.
All right, guys, so I'm actually on my way right now with Blair and Booby to pick up the truck that we're gonna be pulling the drivetrain out of to put in the Bronco. Um, but as of right now, we're heading to pick it up. Um, I drove down last week to check on it. It runs, it's awesome, it's gonna be sick. Uh, talked to Blair on the way down here and we've already got some plans for how we're gonna upgrade it, but uh, we'll just let you guys see what we're picking up and what's going in the Bronco. So stay tuned. <laughs> 